Hello world, it is Monday, November 29th, 2021. And here in Defiance, Ohio, it's beautiful blue skies and sunny day, um, but cold. It was 24, 25 degrees this morning when I got, went running. But it is absolutely gorgeous out there with the sunshine and the blue sky. The devotion for today is entitled Finding Our Way Again, written by Talitha Arnold. And Talitha bases the devotion upon Micah, chapter 4, verse 2, New Revised Standard Version. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that the Lord may teach us the way, and that we may walk in God's path. And Talitha writes, Being on automatic pilot, said my friend Gary, never means you'll go in a straight line to your destination. If you did, you'd crash. Gary knew that firsthand since he was a pilot. You set your destination, he continued. But throughout the flight, the program continually recalibrates the route. Just like a human pilot, the automatic pilot has to take into consideration all the unexpected events, wind shears, storms, changes in barometric pressure. You never know what's between you and your destination, Gary said. Whether it's a computer or yourself, a good pilot needs ongoing direction to get back on track. The prophet Micah never piloted a plane, but he would have known exactly what Gary was talking about. When the people strayed far from God's path, each walking in the name of God, Micah called them back to the mountain of the Lord, where God would teach them again. When they lived in the fear of, in fear of a foreign army, Micah gave them God's vision of swords beaten into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Climb that mountain, Micah said, and come back to God. Recalibrate, and you'll get through the storm, my friend, my pilot friend Gary advised. Draw near, Advent calls, and you'll find your way back to Bethlehem. And the prayer. Guide us, O God, on Advent's journey. Help us find our way back to you. Amen. <clears throat> well, this devotion for me brings up uh, a couple of different thoughts. Um, one is that the seasons of the uh, church year are cyclical because they're meant for us to continue to, um, to find our way back, <clears throat> to recalibrate, to get back on track with things. Because the reality is... Um, there's so much in our world that distracts us and sends us off track. And there's so many people, sometimes even with what they believe are good intentions, that uh, send us in the wrong direction. And so it's important to um, get back on track. And that's really what the seasons of the year are meant for. Advent um, in the past had been more like Lent in, a, in, in that it was a penitential time, a time to... Um, for self-reflection and renewal, um, to look at <clears throat> your life and what it's focused on and um, focusing it back on God and on the love of God. Um, but I think with um, so much in our society, Advent has become just a preparation for Christmas. Um, which, I mean, in the Christian sense, yes, it is. But it's really more about um, recentering ourselves on the life of Christ, not just um, decorating the house, decorating the church, having certain things up in the church. Um, it's really about um, giving our lives back on track. And so we should try to use those times to... Um, help us to reflect and to think about how we are and who we are in the world and what we need to do to um, to get back into uh, the direction that we should be going, that God wants us to be going. I hope you have a good day. I hope you can enjoy some of this sunshine, but dress warmly at least because it's, um, it's cool out there. And I'm expecting that, uh, I didn't look at the weather forecast, but I don't think it's going to be all that warm today. Um, but we are getting closer to December and cool, colder weather. So take care, have a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.